so what's up everybody welcome to another video today we are going to make this analog clock as you can see that in the screen so this is fully functional analog clock and it is having the fully functionality as you can see that we have 12 am and 12 minute and 55 second so which is perfect according to our clock so that's what we are going to build in this video hope you will like it and no more talk let's dive into it So we are in the day 13 of our 30 days 30 summits and for the day 13 what we are going to do actually we are going to create an analog clock. So that's what we are going to create today and if you are interested to check out this repo I'll link it in the description where you can find these all interesting submits that I did for 30 days 30 summits. And if you come please give it a star and also we have an entire playlist about these 30 days 30 summits so if you want you can also check out the playlist so here in our code in our html first of all let's get a boilerplate and in the body i'll have a section and in the section i'll have a div with a class of clock so in this clock div i'll have three different divs which will represent the clock hand so for the first one i will have the hours so this will be the hours so actually let's say the hour so this will be the hour hand and this will be the minutes hand or min hand and this will be for the second so just save it and here also link the style sheet so link and here i will have the style sheet so in our style sheet first of all let's remove all the unexpected gaps so margin will be zero and padding will be zero and also say that box sizing will be the border box and after that in our section so let's say that i want to have the height 100 vh so height will be 100 vh and width will be 100 percent and also i will have the display flex also align items center and justify content so center and this will make our clock in the center of our website so after that let's come to the actual clock here so clock and here what i need actually let's give it a background color for now so that we can see so let's give it a gray color and also let's give it a height and width so the height will be 100 percent of our section and the width will be about 90 percent of our section so now if I save and make a refresh, I can see the 100% of our height and only the 90% of our width, this gray container. So after that, let's say that I want to have a max width. So the max width will be about 500 pixel. Actually, let's give it 400 pixel. So as you can see that the maximum width in 400 pixel and also let's have a height. So instead of this 100% height, I will have 400 pixel height so that I will have a, a score as you can see So now we have this responsive. So whenever I will go to the Smaller device as you can see the height will remain in the 90% of width So it will not go out of the window So now after that, let's say that border areas will be 50% and also let's give it a border width actually let's give it a 5 pixel solid and gray now as you can see that we have this clock and i don't want my gray background anymore so let's remove the background color and i only have this gray color border here so after that let's come to the hand clock hand so i'll have three kind of hand so hour and minute and the last one is the second so here let's say that the position will be absolute so make sure that the parents which is the clock the position is relative so after that let's come to the top and say that 50 percent and also for the left i'll have 50 percent so also let's give it height and width so the height will be something like 5 pixel and the width will be 100 percent and let's have a background color background color gray 
and you can see that this hand is having a big width so instead of this 100% width I can say something like 30% so it's looking good and 40% and 40% is looking perfect for now so now we can see that we have these three hands and we can't differentiate them so we will rotate them differently so after that we can see them differently so before that instead of this gray color let's make it black and also let's say that border areas will be 50 percent so it will make it something like a clock hand as you can see so after that what i need actually i need to move this clock hand in the 12 o'clock so here so for that what i can do actually i can say something like transform rotate and i want to rotate minus 90 degree so now as you can see that it's rotated 90 degree minus 90 degree but it's not in the center so let me show you what's happening so just copy this and for now let's make it comment and in the mean hand i wanna rotate this something like 10 degree only so now as you can see that it's rotating 10 degree but if you can notice the origin of the rotation is in the center of our this hand so i don't want to rotate from the center i want to rotate it from the left corner so for that what i need actually i need to make sure the transform origin is in the left side so now as you can see that it's rotating from the left side so whenever i will now make the 90 degree rotate here so as you can see that it's now in the center from the center i have 12 o'clock so after that we will dynamically change this clock hand with our javascript so in our html let's link the javascript here so in the javascript first of all let's select all the element so first of all let's select the main element so that's the minutes so document dot query selector and i wanna select the min so i already have a class in this min div so just grab it and also i wanna have the second so sec so here i just make it sec and also we need to grab the hour so make sure that you have all those three hand selection so hour so that's fine so for the time what we have in javascript is the date so let's create a constant and name it date and here we will store our date so let's create a new instance of date so that's from the javascript so if i console log this date now console.log this date so what we will have so now as you can see that we are having the date that's the date and we also having the time and as you can see that the, my country name and that's the standard time for the Bangladesh and we have now this time so from that what I need actually I need only the time that we can see it here so how we can get them so we can get them very easily so if I say something like data dot get hour so it will give me the only hour so if I save as you can see that it's 23 and if I give something like data hours and data minutes if I give data minutes it will give me the minutes so as you can see that that's 37 sorry 57 and also we have the minutes 57 here so let's also check the seconds here so as you can see that that's the seconds and it will change whenever I will refresh because that's the seconds so we can have this data from this date so let's actually use them so now let's say that constant sec degree so what I need to do actually I need to say that date dot get seconds and it will give me the seconds so what I need actually now I need to convert this second into the degree so how we can convert this second into the degree so it's very simple so what I need to do actually I need to divide this second by 60 because we will have the maximum 60 second in a minute and also let's just multiply this number so with the maximum number of the degree so if you can see that 
we will have maximum 360 rotation for our second or any kind of clock hand so that's why i need to make sure that 360 so now we successfully converted the second into the degree so now what i need to do actually i need to set this degree in our clock hand so for that what i can do actually i can say something like second element and i can do something like a style dot not that style dot transform transform so what i want to do actually i want to rotate it so rotate and let's rotate 20 degree for now so if i save as you can see that it's rotated only 20 degree so let's actually give it zero degree so if i give it zero degree as you can see that it's started from these x axis zero degree so that's what these degree started so it's now in the zero degree when i will add 10 degree it will come here 20 30 40 and go on so i don't want that so what i want actually i want to start it from the 12 o'clock so for that i need to make sure we have a minus 90 degree whenever we will start this transform so what i need actually i need to make sure that in our sec degree i already have this minus 90 degree so now i just can replace this number with the sec degree so sec degree then if i save as you can see that it's now in the perfect place and if i also refresh as you can see it's changing its position so if i open my clock as you can see that it's almost the same because it's not changing constantly so that's why it's having a late second here so we need to update this second time mean this degree so for that i can use a set interval so set interval so here i will just say that in every thousand milliseconds means in every second what i want to do actually i want to run a function and in this function i will do all these things so i will have this constant here and also i will change the second degree so now as you can see that it's changing the hand of our clock in every millisecond sorry in every second and also let's do it for our minutes so for the minutes what i need to do actually i need to have a constant of mean degree so here i will get the minute from the date so date dot get minutes so i need to convert it into the degree so just divided by 60 because again we can have the only 60 minutes maximum 60 minutes in an hour and we need to multiply this with 360 because that's the rotation that's the maximum rotation that we will have here okay and also let's subtract this 90 because i want to start this clock hand from this 12 o'clock or this 90 degree minus 90 degree here so now we have this mean degree and just we need to replace the mean element style transform rotation i need to have the rotation according to my mean degree so now if i save as you can see that it's changing so if i open as you can see that the minute is five minutes and the minute clock of my clock is also indicating the five minutes it's working perfectly fine and the next thing that i want to update is my hour so for the hour what i need to do actually i need to create another constant here so constant and let's say that our degree and here what i need to do actually i need to convert the hour so into the degree so get hour first of all so this will give me the hour and i need to convert it into the degree so for the hour what i need to do actually i need to divide it by 12 because the maximum amount of our hour can be in a clock is the 12 we need to multiply it with the 360 and once again we need to minus the 90 degree because i want to start this clock hand from the 12 o'clock so now we have this our degree and finally we just need to update our element so here let's say that our degree our element style transform and the rotation will be according to our our degree so now if i save you can see that it is not changing so because if you can see that my local time is about 
12 a.m. So that's why it's actually indicating the 12 a.m. as you can see. But if you can see that the minute is actually perfect, it's 8 minute and the second is also perfect. So for the last thing, let's actually have the number of for our clock. So for that, what I will do actually, I will use a image in the background. So let's remove this grab border from here. So now we don't have any border. So instead of this border, I will use a background image. So background image, so URL. So that's the image that I will have. As you can see that that's a transparent image and I have only the number for our clock here. So I have this image in my background and also let's position it. So the background position will be the center and also let's say that background size will be cover or sorry contain. Now as you can see that it's having this nice image here. And also make sure that the background repeat is no repeat. So now it's perfect. And if you want you can decrease the size of your clock hand so here as you can see that in our hour mean second I have this width of 40% if you want you can decrease the number now it's 30% so it's perfect so it's saying that 12 o'clock and it is almost 10 minutes and we have the second which is also indicating the perfect second here so hope you like this and it is fully responsive so let me show you the responsiveness so in the mobile device or any kind of device it will be perfectly fine as you can see so now as you can see it's fully responsive and that's what for this video i hope you like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel because i make this kind of website related video so i hope you will also like this video so for that please subscribe the channel and my name is arfan and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye